have the digital voltmeter in the uh, engine bay here close to the throttle position sensor. That's the first uh, sensor I want to test. And the first test that I want to make is to verify that the uh, signal return has a complete circuit in the uh, sensor. The way I'll do that is I put the uh, meter on the ohm scale. I have one probe wire hooked to battery ground over there and then I'll use the other probe wire to back probe the signal return wire on the hard shell. I pulled back the uh, little weather connection here to make it a little bit easier to back probe these wires and the signal return happens to be a black wire on this one. You have to look at your color codes to know if that uh, is the correct color. Um, this wire of course eventually goes to pin 46 which is the signal return uh, connection on the uh, processor and I should get a complete circuit. I should have a very low ohmic reading here. So let's give it a, a try. There you go, 1.4 ohms, less than 2 ohms. That's exactly what I want to see. That's a complete circuit. So I know that wire is going to pin 46 and it's also grounded internally in the processor, which is what I want. Next, I change my scale to volts and I turn the key on. Now I want to check the uh, reference voltage. On this one, it happens to be the orange wire. I'll back probe that and see what I get. Okay, we have 4.91 volts, and that's what we want. We want very close to 5 volts, give or take a tenth of a volt or so. That's a good reading. So the reference voltage is correct. And the reference voltage is pin 26 of the processor. So we know that's a complete circuit. Now I want to check the signal wire. That's the wire that's going to pin 47 of the processor. That's the voltage that the processor will read as the position of the throttle. So let's see what that is with a closed throttle. The wire is green on this one. And I'm getting a reading of 1.01 volt. That's perfect. You want it close to 1 volt, give or take a tenth of a volt. And 1.016, that's perfect for a closed throttle. Now what I want to do is to exercise the uh, throttle and make sure that the voltage changes with the uh, throttle blade angle change. You may not be able to see the display very well, but what I'm going to do is to move the throttle from the idle position all the way to full throttle. And I should see a steady climb in the voltage. If I suddenly see 5 volts, or if I suddenly see 0 volts, then there's an open circuit in that uh, throttle position sensor, and most likely that would have to be replaced. I want to see a smooth transition from this 1 volt position up to approximately four and a half volts at wide open throttle. Let's see what we have. All right, slowly move it. I got 1.4, 1.8, two volts, uh, 2.8 rather, 3.1, 3.5, and I think I have it in the wide open throttle position and it's 4.50 wide open throttle and I saw a steady climb of the voltage that's very good. Go back to uh, the stop idle position and I'm back at 1.02 volts that's perfect. Let's go over to the chalkboard and evaluate what the readings we got. The throttle position sensor which is a three wire sensor is what is called a potentiometer. One wire is going to 5 volt to the reference voltage, one is going to ground, signal return, and then the signal wire is actually a wiper that's going across a resistor. Now, you remember at closed throttle we had 1 volt, so in other words the wiper is closer to the ground side. As I moved the throttle blade to wide open throttle, I got 4.5 volts, so it went, uh, the wiper went closer to the 5 volt side. 